Babe? Yeah. Gringos! Not welcome. Yeah, they got it written all over as we head to Ponce. Gringos not welcome in this area. Homage or... Alright, BB, we are in Ponce. Again. We to are check going to out. Do a little sightseeing and a little shopping. Yes. Everyone doing their daily chores. Painting. Restoration project there. And this is as you're getting before. And we got the police on bicycles. Hey, where are they at? Very friendly. They don't care if they get recorded. Now we are entering the Pueblo. And that's the original lottery. And the famous Bombero. That's what I'm saying. It's pretty nice, this place in here. Oh, look at the telephone. So. I don't know where we're at, but this is pretty nice. Oh, this is a hotel, Malia Century Hotel. Very beautiful. This is their little courtyard here. You sit on the swing and everything. Very beautiful. Yeah. Very beautiful out here. All right, you said when was this hotel? 1903. When it was originally built. When it was originally built. Look at the camera. Yep, nice beautiful day. Downtown. Up close and personal. We didn't get to do this too much when the fiesta was here, but we got the town to ourselves. Yeah, Alright, the last time we were here, the church was not open. No. And this time it is. Alright. Now, BB, they still have confessional going on. Did you want to step in? All right, we figured we'd give you guys just a little <coughs> taste on Puerto Rico churches, uh, the Catholic ones. Yeah. They're like this one. A lot of towns are open 24 hours a day. They have mass. Yeah. You come in there whenever you want to. All righty. Uh, let's go the other oh, way because yeah. that's where we were going. Yeah. 
this area of the island Ponce uh, has that Portuguese style, so yeah. it's a possibility when Spain and Portugal, because Christopher Columbus came to Aguadilla, yeah. that's where he think, but this is more the uh, Portugal Architecture. aspects of the island. And you can see that's all new casino because there used to be a lot of stores. Yeah. Like what that looks like over there. The old part of uh, Onsa, like in that building. Yeah. As you can see, I mean, not just Fiona. I think it was Fiona was the last hurricane that hit here that really devastated Ponce because it came up this way. It's just unfortunate that this town has so much deteriorating and not being uh, built back to be saved. As popular as Ponce is, but everyone goes to the waterfront now. That's the new scene over there. Yeah, we'll check out. We'll walk down there after here. For those who don't believe all those strikes are for your sins and for anyone who says that that man doesn't love you is a lie and because everyone is forgiven and he loves everyone no matter what mistakes we've made and if Jesus can carry the cross to his death, that means every man and woman can carry all the burdens from life to death. You can do it. Nice to see that they're restoring a lot of these buildings that need some loving over the time. Right there. Yep. And just think back in the day in the 70s, like I said, this place used to flourish. A lot of tourists. Very beautiful. That used to be. Looks like almost apartments or something. It's for sale. Architect is beautiful. I know. An office building? Yeah, it looks like it used to be an office building. Cool. Another church here. Uh, like doesn't look so matter. active, but. Yeah. I think yeah, Methodist. Methodist. That's gorgeous. Oh, I wish I could go inside. Yeah, I mean, there's things that looks like it says there's masses, but it's it's locked down. There's a lot of things people don't see when they come to Puerto Rico as tourists that they should see how beautiful uh, Ponce is and you can almost see like back in the heyday what it used to be oh wow one two three four five six seven eight eight no, I got them all. But yeah, it's 
get into the old section. It used to be the, the main area and everything. But like I said, it, I mean, a lot of it has to do with, there was a lot of, uh, uh, you know, and yeah, you can see a lot of buildings went on fire. Uh, yeah. When there was a lot of, like, you know, like the crashes of the past years. Yeah. And they couldn't recover from it because they did a lot of the, the where the pier is, where they built yeah. that up for people to go there and enjoy right. that. And they left really the heart of the town in decay. In decay, yeah. They, the government just didn't spend enough money to keep this place going. But it looks like they're trying to come back, which, thank God, because, like I said, this is where they have all the festivals and everything. And it's so beautiful. The architecture here is just yeah. amazing. Yeah, you can tell it's more Portuguese, kind of, yeah. instead of the Spain on certain parts of the island. You can see some of these places are for sale. That's where the cross is up there. Yeah. The castle for Don Q. And there's an abandoned church. Up, I mean, uh, I'm sorry. An abandoned hotel that went down in the 70s. I don't know if we'll make it up there. Maybe we can walk through it. Look. Yeah, that's old school. Yeah. Old school Puerto Rico. And that looks abandoned. Uh, they're restoring something over here but you can just see the architect the beauty that one's falling down yeah. but I love the lanterns out there yeah that's just amazing right there Yeah, a lot of these places here. That looked like that was on fire at one time. This building here, that you got to be careful. Yeah. Yeah. in there but like you said looks like possibly a hotel but where you can open up the doors yeah and look out the window it's got yeah it could have been because there's a, there's Jesus, a Jesus thing there so there. Like right yeah these two Sorry for the wind, guys. The architect is so beautiful. Not Italian style. I mean, or Spain, I mean. Definitely not Spain. This is definitely Portuguese style. But they all have almost like a stations of a cross, but it's stations of something else. Right, but it's like every house here. But, but it's on all the houses on this block here. Well, they were really you know. religious. Yeah. I and agree with you. There, I mean, they still are, don't get me wrong. Because I've seen houses going up the mountains where they got a big old cross by the front door. That building there was something with the fancy windows. I don't know if that would be someone's house. Possibly a business. 
I don't know. Because I would say because of the windows. I would say home. You think so? Yeah. But it is made out of those, uh, whatever those slabs or something that are like governmental. But if you just put yourself back into the heyday where all these doors were open, yeah. just say if that was an establishment, you can, you know, you poke your head in or in and out. It was like everything was more open, friendly. You can walk in and look and, uh, I like how those trees got the roots like that. I know, they're cool. Very beautiful. And there's the Fox Hotel we were in in our last video. But we just want to show you a different side of Ponce that a lot of people don't see. All right, we're back in the in the gift shop. This is what Ponce is famous for. For that there. Yes, yes. All right, BB. Pina colada time. Yes, it is. Pina colada time. In the Utopia coffee shop in Ponce. Now they're making uh, espresso over there. That looks pretty cool. And then we're getting our pina colada right there, thanks to Banzai. Really nice little shop. It's inside the gift shop right here yes. in the Utopia. Very nice place. This is where you get your tickets to go into Don Q's Castle and the Cross. Right. One thing in Puerto Rico you gotta have is a lot of pina coladas. Yeah. Look who decided to join us today. Eminem. Oh wow. Eminem Adventures decided to join us today. I guess so. <laughs> They're everywhere. <laughs> and they say they never go places. Come on, man. Yes. Come on. Right. We know you are everywhere. They got food here too, but we're gonna go get some yeah. street food. Yes, he's gotta have. We a gotta have food. the hot dogs, and they do have a hamburger out there on the street food as well. Okay. So we're definitely. There she goes, baby. Oh yeah. That's what I'm talking about. We're gonna get drunk today. No way. Because it's. Legal to drive and drink. Well, I'm not. <laughs> All right, there you go. There you go, BB. You got it. Oh, this is the first time we've seen fresh coconut. You got it. That's going to be real, real good there. Mm -hmm. That's going to be a real pina colada. All right, so you have friendly. There you go. Gracias, gracias. Yeah, that's just to show everyone that the cops, they love to be videoed and pictured. Yeah. They love it in Puerto Rico. They do. Uh, oh, windy. Windy day. It's getting windy out here today. Drinking the pina colada out here now. Too beautiful to sit in there, but. Yeah. Utopia, if you're in Ponce, you that's where you want to go. Yeah. For, uh. Gifts and souvenirs. Yeah, and they do have food in there, but again, we're gonna go find that hot dog person. He's gotta have his street food. <laughs> this is their little walkway mall area that would get busy as the day gets later on. All right, we're gonna be here eating some hot dogs at Gabby's. Eating hot dog, baby. Put everything on it. All right, BB, your hot dogs are getting made to go.
with everything on it. Hey, right, baby. We'll take this to the car. We'll eat these in the car. How you doing in Ponce, boy? In Puerto Rico. I bet you this guy's here every day. What's good about this location here is that you could just pull up to him, order a hot dog or a drink, and, and keep on going, boy. That's how you do it, boy. This looks like it's uh, some kind of lamb. That's what I was thinking. It's not open yet, but. It's getting there. All right, let's see what these amazing hot dogs look like with everything on it. Two fifty a piece. Okay. Let me see. Whoa, whoa. Let me see that. Oh. Question is, did they give us napkins? No. No? Mm -mm. I've got one in here anyway. Okay. Two. Mm. Be even better if I quit putting my arm in it. <laughs> Oi. Street dogs, boy. Mm -hmm. Yep, got chips. And who knows what else. Secret ingredient. Cheese, ketchup, mustard. Some kind of beef, who knows. Whichever one you order. <laughs> I just said everything in it. Tell you one thing, you get everything on in there, sap credit. Mm -hmm. <laughs> They're sloppy as all heck. So I said the Puerto Rican hot dogs are to die for. Spent 15 bucks and, and change, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah. I think the hot dogs were like 250, the soda was 250 a piece, five hot dogs. <laughs> Definitely need napkins, but I'm surprised they ain't putting nothing in there. Uh -uh. But that's right here in Ponce, right next to the strip. That guy in the truck that was there, he was just eating. Give me another one. Eating, give me another one. Uh -huh. And that's how you gotta, you know, when you're here. That's how you do it. Just keep eating till you're full. And then you say, give me the bill. I don't know how you do it that it doesn't get messy. Oh, okay, on your face. But it doesn't get messy. Mine just falls apart. <laughs> well, I hear you. You ain't even got to talk. I understand you. Get it. Hi, baby. After we ate that beautiful meal, the last stop is Calle 25 de Enero and Calle Victory. It's a one way street. And Starts from over there, but this is where all the bomberos, the fire department that was in downtown Ponce, this is where they used to live at. Yeah. All along here. Uh, and they are exactly to the actual date and time. Yep. 
But just think, each fire person had their own place. You just come out the door, chill out. You're only a couple blocks away from the fire department. Possibly someone might be living in here. But let's see if we have more on this side better. I know the sun is hitting us, but they're all the fire people's homes. Yeah, you notice how... And then, like, this is just one. So yeah. maybe they had, like, a family or a Mary, maybe. It's a possibility. Yeah. Single, yeah, single the... people stayed in, in the two dwelling and... Then... Right, and then that one there. But there are people living in here. Cool. And it would have went in further back over there yeah. and stuff. All right, we were just talking to somebody over there. And basically, these oh, wow. got handed down to the family. So these were the fire people's houses. And you have to hand them down to their yeah, family. So you can, it just keeps on going. But this is pretty cool. So there are people living in these dwellings. Amazing. Look at that. It's a whole village of the fire workers. Yeah. That's just absolutely wonderful. Yeah. Again, things that people do not see uh, when they come to Ponce. But yeah, that's what she said. It's uh, it's the families. So just imagine, sorry for the wind, back in the days where that is nice. Right there. Yeah, it's staying true. But just imagine back in the day that how this was like a little road, a block a of, fire of the fire to people that they used to work here. Bueno dia. Basically what he was saying is that every other house, like some have the top on there, yeah. like an attic and some don't. But every other house is is different. That's oh. how they made the the thing here. Like you see like, what I'm saying? Yeah. Like he's got two roof up there where he had the flat gotcha. flat part there and stuff. So, Hi. but that's how they they made the area. And he got a sister that's living up there and everything. Yeah, as you can see how the house is. You see how it's flat in the front. One up high, flat, one high, one high. And then this is the corner one. That'll probably be where the chief was at. That looks like the biggest one. Yeah, it does. There, but they all have the same room. They all have to keep the same color on the outside. But the inside, you can paint whatever you want to, he says. But right. as far as the outside is concerned, to be true to... yes. And then we're going to find out when the, this was fabricated because there's supposed to be a plaque up here. But this is pretty cool. And like you said, it gets passed down. From generation to generation. Yeah. Yep. So that firehouse that was in town, this is where they would live at. That's what caught my eyes. And I remember what Lourdes had said. She put on Facebook. And I'm like, but I didn't see them. Now I can say I've seen them. Yeah. It's amazing. There it is right there. Oh, 25th of January, 1899 was when this place, and that's why they call this street, the street of January. Oh, okay. Yeah. Yeah, they call this street, the street of January. Thank God they kept something so, of heritage. And that's what I'm saying, like, this is what you gotta love about Puerto Rico, when they keep it true to this uh, heritage stuff, and they don't change. I love that though. Some more of the side streets here. Beautiful. Now, like the front ones are all odd numbers. Yeah. And the back, back ones are all even. Yeah. I noticed that. 
that literally looks like someone came down the road and just sideswiped it and kept on going. Well, we got the friendly neighborhood dogs in this area now. Yeah. Listen here, if you ain't careful, BB might pick you up and take you home. All right, guys, we hope you guys enjoyed everything about Ponce. We hope we, sh we showed you some stuff that normal people would not see. Yeah. Uh, I know a lot of the areas outside of the city look scary, but it's not really scary. It's just that it just it's an old city, and yeah. that's what it looks like. It's just an old city. A lot of damages here for either fire or something prior to earthquake, you know. But, yeah. But nope. Like I said, just come check out this. Nice place to take pictures. Street food, them hot dogs were banging. Uh, I don't know. That's it, basically. That's it. So until in our, our next video, everybody take care. Take care of one another. Take care of yourselves. See ya. Adios.